Hello everyone, it's Chris and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how I made this LED light chaser circuit, so let's get started. This has never been a useless circuit because I've seen the LED chase light technique in several locations and probably the current turn signal is a good example. No programming needed here as the circuit is based on two main components which are the CD4017 counter circuit and the popular NE555 timer. Considering the CD4017 datasheet, the circuit could scroll some bits at its outputs based on the signal rising edges at its clock pin. By producing a square wave signal at the clock pin, we could make the bits scrolling at a certain speed. And this will be the mission of our NE555 timer configured in a stable mode we could produce a small square wave signal of adjustable frequency. This signal will serve as input clock of CD4070 to produce the LED chase animation. By adjusting the square wave frequency, we could control the light scrolling speed and this is possible by making this resistor value adjustable through a potentiometer. I produced the circuit in a breadboard to test connection and by powering it from a 9V DC power source, I got the LED's light scrolling. The scrolling speed is adjusted through this potentiometer and we could visualize the NE555 produce its square wave form as well. I then moved it to Altium Designer and grabbed the necessary parts to produce the circuit where we need the CD4017 counter and the NE555 timer. I placed 10 LEDs at the counter outputs preceded by 100 ohm resistors. This jack power connector will serve as a main power entry and this light switch will have to turn on and off the whole circuit. I got all my parts from Octopart, there you can search for the CD4017 counter and all the rest of the circuit parts through its references and get the best market available prices. You could also download the parts cut files and easily add them to your Altium schematic. After producing the circuit schematic, I then transformed it into a PCB design and arranged the LEDs at the bottom of the board. The Align Objects tool will help you to align the LEDs and the resistors space it equally. I placed the power jack connector and slide switch at the board side, and here is how it looks the board in 3D view. I then generated the circuit Gerber files and dropped them to JLC PCB website to place a PCB order. Six days later, I got these white PCBs successfully produce it and deliver it. And here I'm ready for a soldering session. The needed tools here are just solder iron and solder core. You could refer to Altium 365 assembly tool to help you identify the appropriate parts placements and this is a good aid for assembling prototyping boards. After soldering the components, I cleaned the board with some flux removal solvent and here is the board completely assembled. I then designed this housing to cover the board bottom side and 3D printed it in PLA filament. Now I can use these 2mm threaded inserts to screw the board to the housing. The board fits very well to the 3D printed cover and here is my circuit all set to take the 9V DC power. After I power on the circuit from the slide switch, the LEDs start producing the light chasing animation and I can control the animation speed through this potentiometer. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this circuit that you can try at home. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris. See you next time.